All right, before us here is a DJI M600 Pro with a DRTK-G um, positioning sensor on top of it, um, along with the Datalink 900, which complements the uh, RTK setup. Uh, in front of us here, obviously, the copter itself, uh, the base station to the left. Uh, we're going to go over the base station first and the copter, and then I'll show you some things on the controller here. So, order of operations, when you're turning these systems on, the base station is number one. Leave the copter off first, turn the base station on first, and let it initialize. There's a series of different LEDs that are displayed on the RTK unit itself. Um, which are also explained in the manual, but uh, to paraphrase a little bit, um, a red LED is uh, initializing and uh, no lock. A solid green is what you're going to want to be looking for. That basically tells you that the uh, base station has found a lock and is, uh, is ready to go. So you're going to turn this on and wait for that green LED. Um, until you get that, don't turn the copter on. All right, so we've turned this on. We've got a green LED. We move over to the copter next. Same sort of scenario on the copter. You've got the uh, complementary RTK that's, that's bound. Same sort of deal. Uh, the LEDs vary a little bit differently between the ground and the air unit, but so the principle remains. We're going to wait until this turns to a solid green LED as well. Uh, that tells us that these two GPS units also have a lock um, and that it has been communicating with the, with the ground station itself and it is ready to go. So turning this on, waiting for a green LED, and uh, then once you have both of those, then you're just about ready to take off. So we'll step back into the shadow a little bit here and we'll go over the, go over the app for what you're gonna wanna see. Um, so obviously we don't have a camera attached to the uh, M600, so I got a black screen. Otherwise your camera picture would be displayed here, whether you have X3, X5, or custom setup. Um, we can hit the little button over here where your GPS would normally be, uh, where your, your GPS satellites, and a little window will pop up that shows your RTK satellite status. So we've got antenna one and two. Those are on the copter itself. Those are the left and right antennas. Your base station, that is your base station antenna. So basically we have 999 for our GPS satellites and our GLONASS satellites are 7, 7, and 8. Um, your base station coordinates will be displayed here, your lat long and your altitude. Uh, also your aircraft coordinates, your lat long and altitude here for the copter. And you'll have two little indications showing uh, blue orientation, blue positioning. Uh, this basically means that it is uh, ready to fly. So we can hit OK there. Um, of course, you're going to also have your status menu. It won't let you take off until everything's ready to go. So if you don't have a good uh, RTK lock or you don't have a good um, GNSS lock on your, your copter, it won't let you take off. So in our case, we do have a good ready to go status. We've got 16 uh, satellites on the copter itself. Uh, I've got a blue R, which indicates that the RTK is ready to go as well. Um, so taking off and flying is just like normal. I'll go ahead and do that now. Take off. All right, I'm just gonna hover it kind of in front of us here. But she flies exactly how you, you would expect. It's a centimeter level accuracy, just kind of sitting in one space uh, right in front of us here. Of course, if you want to move the sticks, you can update its position. And so on and so forth. Um, the RTK is very useful for surveying applications where you need that centimeter level accuracy. Uh, combine it with an X3 or X5 or any of the other DJI cameras and it will actually geotag those latin longitudes to uh, to each picture for um, you know importing it into whatever uh, post production software you're going to use whether it's for surveying or ortho mosaics or or whatever's required so hopefully this video was a bit of help for you on demonstrating how the RTK works and how it's combined on the uh, DJI M600 Pro if you have any other questions please give us a shout at quadricopter.com